put the piston up onto the uh, onto the engine. It's more of a it's like a dry build. Uh, we have a 27 mil compression height on the piston from the center of the pin to the top of the crown to the edge of the crown there 27 mil so that means it's even shorter than normal so we have to take 3 mil off the base of the barrel we're now going to do all the ports but first of all to be able to mark all the ports up I need to machine the bottom of the barrel so the bottom of the barrel has got to be machined We're setting up our top dead centre now. So first of all we've put the dial gauge on. So we'll bring the dial gauge round. We've got the face here at the front to set our zero mark. So we'll bring it up until its piston stops moving and that's about there. Then we'll sent we'll put our zip we'll zero it. So that's we've got that zeroed now. So now we'll go around and we've got the buzz wangle on the other side. Okay, so here's our buzz wangle on the other side. So we're going to now zero that. So that's zeroed and our doll gauge is zeroed. So then we've marked up top dead centre here with the zero on the, on the flywheel, with the, mark, the arrow on the flywheel. So now we're going to rotate it anti-clockwise till we get 17 degrees okay so now we're on 17 degrees we can mark again on our magazine A 17 degree mark okay I'm just gonna mark up the um, exhaust port timings now first of all we're going to ascertain what the standard timing is exactly and then we're going to change it to 175 degrees exhaust port uh, that's what I'm aiming for on this barrel so we're gonna rotate and go down until the port just starts to open okay which is that point there I'm going to zero the buzz wangle then we're going to rotate it down to fully open and then all the way back up Till it closes so we want 175 so the difference between 61 and 75 is 14 degrees so we're going to go up the barrel seven degrees obviously because it's only half because when we do the other one it's up and down so we're only going up so it's half so we're going to go up seven degrees extra so we'll just zero our buzz wangle again now And move it up seven degrees so up we go the seven degrees there we are and we'll give it a scribe there a little scribe mark in the blue so we've got a work some put a point to work to right there you go 175 degrees so that's our exhaust port timing at 175 degrees so We'll pr proceed to do the same thing with the uh, transfer ports and then we'll move on to the uh, inlet port. So here we go. Okay, now we're going to have a look at our transfer ports. As you can see, it's already blued up. I'm just going to get the, the port to set up on just opening. Hang on, we've got to go all the way around. 
hang on, I'm back down again. Right, let's look at it, just opening, if I can see it without getting my big fat head in the camera. There it is. Right, so we'll zero our buzz wangle, and then we'll check the duration of these. Obviously, they're a bit more advanced because it's a 60 mil stroke, so they're going to have more duration now anyway. So, let's have a look there. The duration at the moment is 24 degrees. Exactly where we wanted it. That's a bit of look. Bloody hell. So, basically, we're just going to tidy them up and lower it that one mil as you can see because we're on a 60 mil stroke the piston comes down one mil more and it'll also go up one mil more right, we're going to proceed to check our uh, inlet port timings so on we're going to do it from the point of opening to the point of closing on the inlet port so there we go we're going to zero that now and then we're going to check opening opening now it's coming round, and now it's closing. There. So we're on 163.8 degrees. Right, we're about to put our dial gauge back on now again. And we got it right down inside on the crown of the piston. So now we need to find out how much we're going to lower the exhaust, the inlet port by to get our. Uh, the 165 degrees that we want on the inlet port timing. So at the moment it's on 163.5, right? So we've got a zero uh, meter there, and then we're going to turn it round to 165 degrees and see how far. We have moved 30, 40, 50, 60, 0.7 of a mil. So, right, let's see if it'll zoom in a bit more. That's max. Okay, what we're going to do now is determine the center of our exhaust port, which means we're going to have to put a scribe line now on this outer edge of the exhaust port and then another scrub line on the outer edge of this side of the exhaust port and then measure it okay this is how far we've got so far what we've done is we've marked up the center of our exhaust port then we've calculated uh, our exhaust port width that we're going to go for which is going to be 70% of bore that's uh, cordial width so we're at 62.5 mil so 70% 70, 70 of bore has worked out on my calculator to be 44 millimeters so 44 millimeters across and we've scribed it up at 44 mil and then we've scribed lines down inside the bore so now we've got a line here line here and a scribe line there for our exhaust port duration so that's the exhaust port marked up so then we've got to proceed with uh, porting it all out inlet port Okay, we're back again today. As you can see, I'm in a different jumper now. That's because uh, it's actually a different day because I didn't finish this video 
in one day. So, I was up early this morning, uh, and what we've done is, we've cut a fin off an old barrel, and welded it in. I've also welded in a support here, to stop it cracking again, and to stop it pulling up when I'm welding it, because I can only weld the outside face here. So what I did is preheated the barrel, uh, as hot as I could uh, get it with my air gun, left the out air gun on it, preheated the barrel, then I put the bridge in, and then fully welded in this bit here. There's a few little pinholes there where it blowed a little bit, but as you can see, it's back on. We've got a full fin again. So that's going to help with the cooling and there. Uh, once it's uh, corroded back in, you'll hardly notice anything. <laughs> Maybe I'll spit on it a bit and uh, help it to rust a little faster. There you go. Right then, as we can see, we've, uh, we've done this part of the transfer on this side. We've got to do the, one, the other one on the other side, yeah. But no knife edges, it's, it's basically nice flowing curves. Get those radiuses nice and gas flow over radius is much better. Right, okay, that's our, uh, our barrel finished. We'll just uh, show you around the porting. I hope you can see that nicely on the video, I'm not sure, because... Uh, And that's our finish and you can see we've got a nice little cross hatch on there as well on the bore now so that's uh, going to retain oil in it for running in and uh, give us a little protection in the early days so there you go it's all done happy days so off to your little shed get your tools out and have a go Tuning Fred strikes again. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and see the saga of the uh, Skidoo piston and how we get on with it. 27 mil, super short, man. Super short. See you later.